Hey friends! We visited Tokyo Disney Sea in the middle of Japan's heat wave and also managed to get into the newest park, Fantasy Springs. Keep watching to see all the fun things we got up to. If you've been to a Disney theme park before, you know you've got to get up early. We woke up around 6.30 to take several trains there and by 7.30, there were already so many people. Try and get GPA access to Frozen Ride. Let's go. Here we Jimbo. Despite the huge crowds, everyone walks in slowly and safely without pushing or shoving. We're in. Got our uh, Disney shirts. I got a uh, Baymax one, and Cam says a. Uh, Sally on, and Jimmy's got the exclusive ATC, ATC. limited edition Disney collaboration. <laughs> we realized the stores would be quietest around this time, so we got our Duffy merch shopping out of the way first. All the sleepy Duffy and friends. The trend seemed to be this sleepy fall collection, but we opted for the original Duffy plush. Yeah, the artist. And then Olomel. Best boy, Olomel. After making our purchases, it was time to get some food. We didn't know where to get breakfast food, but we thought the fare at Cape Cod's cook-off was good enough. That purple plate is really nice. We love collecting the souvenir items, and it was tough choosing just one. Ice cream sandwich, I'm like, oh, that looks delicious. Jimbo got that for his breakfast. <laughs> We got iced coffee oh, and Coke Zero. Oh my gosh, a chicken nugget is... Oh, Mickey. Oh, yum. Alright, cool. Chestnut type. Oh, did you get this for free? Yeah, and then with the souvenir plate. Wow. Pretty cute. Right now, it may look like comfy fall weather, but it was over 30 degrees Celsius on this day, so it was hot. See, 3PO is a plane now. <laughs> Disney Sea is the only park that features the Duffy and Friends character greetings, so we lined up to meet the guy himself. <laughs> Duffy was so cute and he looked so happy to meet everyone. Disney Sea also has Aquatopia, the perfect ride for cooling off on these super hot days. Going in Aquatopia. Oh, this version of the ride was called Get Soaked and they sure meant it. Dry we are. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no! Oh, oh man, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, oh, it's refreshing though. Which has the unique look It's like I reverse, I reverse peed myself. No, reverse peed myself. It's not cool unless you pee your pants. Oh, we got we got annihilated. Thankfully, it was so hot that our clothes dried within minutes. And the next best way to cool down, we get, get a frozen treat. Tiramisu ice cream sandwich and Mickey. some Mickey Mouse ice baru. Two! <laughs> I thought your ice cream fell. Awesome. Jimbo with it, with it as well. Two. Twins. Unfortunately, the lines were too long for the Toy Story ride, but what didn't have a long line was the Venetian gondola ride in Mediterranean Harbor. The wait time for this ride was literally 5 minutes, so we took advantage of that. It's a nice chill ride and the gondoliers are super friendly. Ciao. This is a fun thing to do when all you want to do is rest your legs and enjoy the views. It was starting to get hot again, so we went inside and checked out some of the merch. We loved that there were all these cool souvenirs for four-legged friends as well. One thing you have to get at a Disney park is a shoulder buddy. A plush that clips onto your shirt and becomes your little sidekick for the day. Jimmy got Stitch, while I got Pascal from Tangled, the perfect pal to take into Fantasy Springs. 
To enter Fantasy Springs, you need to either have a standby pass or a paid Disney Premier Access Pass for one of the rides. These can be booked via the app, and you'll need to do this as early as you can upon entry into the park, which is another reason why it's so important to get there early. Due to the demand, these passes run out fast. We purchased a DPA pass for the Frozen ride, and we're lucky enough to secure a standby pass for the Tangled Boat ride, which we did first. Once you know how to use it, the standby and DPA pass process is so seamless. It's so handy to have everything done via the app, especially when you have several people in your group. With the standby pass, we only had to wait about 10 minutes in line as opposed to an hour and a half, which honestly is the appropriate amount of time to wait for this ride. This is your standard boat ride and while I love Tangled a lot, I'd say it's just average. Yes, the animatronics are impressive and smooth, but it still kind of leaves you wanting more. The ride is 6 minutes long but honestly feels like a third of that, it's over before you know it. If you're seeing a wait time of 30 minutes or more, I'd recommend just skipping it. Once you've secured entry into the park, you can also book the restaurants inside. Our first stop was the Lookout Cookout for a Peter Pan Lost Boys themed snack box. It was a cute little random mix of fried nibblies but I was more impressed with the Fantasy Springs souvenir candy tin and apparently so was Donald. Japan makes such beautiful, high-quality merchandise, and Duffy thinks so too. I am a huge Frozen fan, and I was so excited that we managed to fit in both the ride and the restaurant into our visit. Even just walking around Arendelle was breathtaking, and the Imagineers did a great job capturing the feel of the films. Even with the DPA pass, there's still a line inside, but there's so much interior decor inside the castle that you won't get bored and you likely won't even notice the wait. Anna and Elsa's Frozen Journey is a fun boat ride that does what Rapunzel's doesn't. It takes you through a decent amount of the story and it is so immersive you love every second. We won't show you the entire ride, but it was so good that this should be at the top of your list when you go. I had read that there were a few drops on this ride, but thankfully they're just small, so both kids and scaredy cats like me will be fine. Oh, it's definitely better. I was sick. What do you think, Olamil? Alright, you wanna go to sleep? <laughs> our last stop in Fantasy Springs was the Royal Banquet Hall to cap off our visit with a decent meal. Better. Booking and ordering through the app was super easy, but it might take you a few minutes to find a table. And we got no seats. The interior of this place is just as pretty as the outside and look at the presentation of this food. We got the beef royal set, which had a beef pot pie, a marshmallow chocolate mousse, a smoked salmon salad, and a potato gratin. We also got an apple tea soda as our drink, and there was a bread roll, but that was nothing to write home about, so we didn't bother showing you. Mike and Jimmy then jumped into the single rider lane for the Indiana Jones ride while I had a rest, and we had a good laugh at all the varied reactions to the climax of the ride. If you're the lady in the bottom right, we're so sorry, but your face here is legendary. We were so tired, but we had space in our stomachs for one last snack. We're getting this bucket with popcorn. 
Oh, what? Go around with your auntie friends. Did you see that? We've seen the fireworks before, so we escaped the crowds and gave it a miss. We had a great day and that was more than enough. But seemingly not enough for Mike, who was lured by the gachapon machine at the train station. Alright, let's go to Simba. Simba. Simba, 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 Simba or Timon. Alright, I either want Simba, Timon, Pumba or Nala. Well, I mean... <laughs> it's empty! <laughs> I got... Oh, I got Timon! Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, Timon's good too. Comedic. Oh, he's good. He looks cute. He's the one that's not sleeping. Yeah, he's good as I open. Thanks for watching. We've got some more Japan adventures coming up, so be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when we upload.